Hey guys, it's CW Brandy. I am here at the Hilton Garden Inn in South Point about to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Center for Theater Arts. Hi guys, I am here with the director of the Center for Theater Arts. I have with me the famous <laughs> Billy Hartung. How are you today? I'm great. I'm great. We've started our gala off uh, with an incredible uh, gift from Billy Porter, who was a Center for Theater Arts alum, who just delivered his heart to the entire organization for 45 straight minutes. And it confirms what I've been saying is that the 30 years that the center's been here, uh, so many great things have happened and so many wonderful people, including yourself, as a, a, a wonderful <laughs> alum, have come out of the center. Yes. And, and where we are is you can't make it up. That's what I keep telling everyone. There's so many great things and you can't make up everything that's happening. Everyone should have a Center for Theater Arts. And, and if you think it's just to explore themselves to know what they want to be what the kids want to be is that is that your is that the mission I think the mission I know the mission uh -huh. is to to allow all children a sense of self-confidence and self-discovery through arts education but what comes out of that is is a degree of um, understanding about people other people relationships and it's not always about yourself and when you're in show after show and you rehearse with people you realize how great how wonderful you can accomplish things together now, where do you see the center in, let's say, in the future? What, what, what's happening with the center? I would, I mean, I would love to see the center stay the course of its essential mission, which is to allow all children to to discover themselves and in confidence. Uh, whether it's public speaking or whether it's movement, they they can be Broadway hopefuls or community uh, partners, doctors, lawyers, you name it. That all needs to be there. We want the heart of the center to stay its course. I want it for my kids. Now, your famous Broadway pose. <clears throat> my famous Broadway pose? Yeah, it gives you foot, like a famous, like oh, I, need, that? I, need like a, I need like a, I don't know, like I feel like I need like a. All right, so call my name. I'm walking down the street in 40 seconds, 40 seconds Street in New York. Okay. Hey, Billy. <laughs> How's that? I love was that. that. Good? That was perfect. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I am standing here with the multi-talented Billy Porter, star of stage, screen, television, the list goes on. But most importantly, he's from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh in the house! Pittsburgh. Yeah, please say hello to the Pittsburgh CW. Hey, Pittsburgh! <laughs> so we are here celebrating 30 years of the Center for Theater Arts. You're an alumni of the Center. Yes. Please give us your favorite memory. My favorite memory of being at the Center was, um, you know, the new artistic director, Billy Hartung. Um, we were in class together, and his parents would dump us in his pickup truck after every class and they would drive me all the way to the other side of town from Mount Lebanon. I lived in uh, East Liberty and they would drive me from Mount Lebanon all the way to East Liberty at nighttime. It was very, it was very special. Now, this is a very tough business. As you know, there's a tons of ups and downs. What has been the biggest obstacle for you? I think the biggest obstacle for me has been um, identifying my own fear and challenging myself to not be fearful, to face, you know, my fears because fear puts limitations on it. Fear puts a cap on what it is that you can do and what it is that you can be. And I really believe that ultimately one can break through their fear and uh, be anything. How did, how did you overcome that? What did, what did it's, you... it's not about overcoming. I think it's a daily practice. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm fearful every day, yeah. you know, still. And I, and I, but I have a way of facing it. You know, you look at yourself in the mirror and go, just one foot in front of the other. Mm -hmm. That's all we got. And that's all we need. Right, right. That's cool. Very cool. Now, Center for Theater Arts deals with tons of little kids growing up wanting to be uh, an actor, a dancer, a singer, or even just in the arts, even behind the scenes, what advice would you give them? I, in this world, mm -hmm. you know, especially recently, we've, uh, you know, gotten very used to sort of microwave success, mm -hmm. you know, instant success. Right. And one of the things that I would say is that don't go that route. You know, go the route of really studying and learning your craft and um, learning what it is that you're actually 
doing because it gives you longevity mm -hmm. and it gives you a career that is not just a, a flash in the pan and it's not just 15 minutes of fame. If you actually have a craft, it will carry you through the rest of your life. That's cool. Now, where do you, where do you live now? I live in New York. New York. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you miss Pittsburgh a lot, I'm sure, and you miss watching Pittsburgh CW. <laughs> we know this, yes. But uh, what is your favorite thing about Pittsburgh? My favorite thing about Pittsburgh is my family mm -hmm. and my friends. Mm -hmm. You know, I, my mom is still here. My sister just moved back here. Some of my best friends from high school are still here. And I love coming home and just, you know, being in the warm embrace of family. Yeah. I'm with you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, and what are you working on now? What's, or what plans for the future? Um, at the moment, I'm just doing, um, I'm in the Revival of Angels in America up in New York City. Mm -hmm. um, that's doing phenomenal. Okay. It's doing amazing. We've been extended four times mm -hmm. and we're coming to the end of that. And I'm just, you know, trying to sort of see, right. you know, I'm open. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that's very cool. Well, you're doing very well for yourself. Thank you. thank you so much. It's great to talk to you, meet with you, and thank you for talking to Pittsburgh CW. Bye, Pittsburgh. <laughs>